this uh, may install faster if I had allocated more RAM, but otherwise it's uh, it's fine. If anybody out there has uh, tried Linux Mint and has had good luck, or do you think that it's better or just as good as Windows XP or Windows 7, uh, drop me a comment and let me know. I'm kind of curious. I think, uh, in my opinion, I think uh, Linux Mint should be number one, at least in terms of all the Linux OS's out there on the market. Like I said, I just uh, downloaded this not too long ago. I have not tested it. I sometimes, or at least usually, like to do a test video of what I'm doing just to see how it goes. But in this situation, I just decided to just install it and do it as you see it. See it, no testing whatsoever. 32% done. All right, let me just pause this and I'll be right back. Okay, just about the midpoint here, installing so far, so good. By the way, in this version of Linux Mint, you can install it inside Windows using the Wubi installer. I believe it was not available in the previous version of Linux Mint, but it is available now, which is good. In case you didn't notice, this is the genome version of Linux Mint 9. I, su I suspect the KDE version will be coming out shortly, but uh, out of the two, I prefer the the uh, genome version of uh, Linux Mint and Ubuntu. Alright, we're at 61% getting there. Just as a side note, I had actually had just begun to uh, begin doing a complete review of Ubuntu Lucid Lynx and I just had gotten word that the new Linux Mint 9 was out, the release candidate, and uh, I got somewhat excited, so I decided to do Linux Mint 9 first, and uh, probably sometime in the next week or two, I'll be I will be doing a complete review of Ubuntu Lucid Lynx 10.04 Genome. All right, I'm at uh, almost 80%. So far, no hiccups. The installation so far is running smoothly. Okay, for this particular uh, webcast, um, I think I will skip downloading the language packs. Of course, if you choose to, you can download them later. We'll uh, just hit skip for now. Checking for packages to remove, 89%. Configuring hardware. Detecting hardware. 93%, so far so good. Starting PC card services. Alright, I think what I'll do here, I'll just wait un until the, the operating system re reboots to the brand new Linux Mint 9. I'll be right back. <laughs> 